So this is going to be a, a quick video on how how we're going to roll an axle, or some people would call a short a frame, on a chassis. We have a, a new vacuum body that we're mounting on this chassis, and the cab to axle is just under four foot too long. I think 46 inches is what it was. So right now, we're just disconnecting the wiring harness or pulling it up far enough that we can have access to all the spring hanger bolts and stops. So we're taking off the, there's three drive shafts on this chassis and we're taking them off right now. I've marked the holes and I'm starting to pop the spring hanger holes. So the axles, the axle and the spring hangers is all going forward. So we're popping holes. This is 64 times the speed. This would be six and a half hours total work. Popping all the holes, cleaning the holes up, making them perfectly round with a die grinder. This sized. There'll be some air air valves that are mounted on the inside of the frame. Basically everything with the axle needs to move forward. So now We've unbolted the spring hangers from the frame. We're picking it up, taking the bolts out. Some of them you have to pick up, set back down. They're funny angles to get to get the bolts out. And if we have the front hanger holes popped right now. We're going to go ahead and move the axle up, get it out of the way. I'm going to mark and cut the holes for the back spring hanger because they were pretty close to where the front spring hanger was originally. So we really need to move this axle forward 46 inches. One of the three drive lines was 45 and a half. And that's close enough because we have six inches of play behind the cab to the tip of the tank. So we're going to have six and a half inches instead of six inches. And we can leave all the drive lines with their original carrier bearings and everything else intact, other than removing one drive line. Otherwise, it's nice to have everything pre-measured. That way you have your drive shaft ready. And all the air lines are quick connects on anything within the last two decades. So we're bolting up the front spring hairs now. We'll be going to the back spring hairs, bolting them up. And the stops. And picking it up and dropping it really helps because sometimes the springs are in the way of putting the bolts in, in the spring hairs. And this is 64 times. Six minute video, or six and a half hours. We're back in this thing in the shop and rolling the axle forward. And we've already built the body, so we already have the measurements. We're gonna cut the frame after the back axle. So he's hooking up all the, run the wire harness through the ABS. And, uh, I think I'm going to do the air lines, get measurements for exactly where the frame is going to be cut at after the axle. Just putting the drive shafts back on. There's only 
to it from there. So I'm cutting the back of the frame right now. Get it out of the way. Clean it up. The grinder make it smooth. Our bumper's gonna sit on the body. We build the bumper's gonna sit flush against the back of the frame. I'm hooking up the air lines. But all we have to do now is connect the batteries as long as the air lines are hooked up. We're not done. Got something hanging. Yeah, that's the rear wiring for the lights. Lights and trailer lights. The batteries up. It's ready to pull in.